my name is Emine, and uh, people ask me, how long can I keep the water ionized? How long does the water stay ionized? And uh, well, basically, uh, there are three main properties of ionized water. One is that it's alkaline, the second property is that it's an antioxidant, and the third property is that it has microclustering. So those three properties actually have different lapses of time after which they come back to a normal state. The one that, go, that, that actually dissipates the most quickly is the antioxidants, because antioxidants basically are free electrons that are liberated into the body. So when you drink a, bottle, uh, a, uh, sorry, a glass of uh, ionized water straight out of the tap, um, you're going to actually have a lot of antioxidants. If you leave it on the counter for uh, perhaps uh, half an hour, an hour, two hours, just an open glass that is free to the air, those electrons will dissipate very quickly. So within a couple of hours, that glass of water will have absolutely no free electrons left in it, and so the antioxidants will pretty much have dissipated and disappeared. If you put it into a closed container in a dark place where there's very little air in the bottle, well, at that point you're not going to have um, as quick a release of those electrons, but still within you know, 12 to 24 hours, most of those antioxidants will have dissipated. So the water after that time won't have the antioxidant properties. The second property, pH, the alkaline property, has a bit more of a long lifespan. But when we say long, not very long, maybe seven to 10 days. Uh, pH will also come back to neutral. So the water is alkaline, but it will gradually come back to a neutral state. And so um, that is another consideration. The third property, which is the microclustering, actually has a very long uh, shelf life. That can go on for several months. In fact, as long as the water does not get back into a pressurized environment, whether it's in a tap or in a pump or something like that, those micro clusters will stay micro clustered. And so they will not actually uh, come back together. So the fact that uh, the antioxidants and the pH have a relatively short lifespan is the main reason that you can't uh, bottle and sell alkaline ionized water. Um, you can't, you go to the, the store, you won't be able to buy uh, alkaline ionized water with a pH of 9.5 and strong antioxidants because you just can't get it to the shelf and to the consumer in a timely fashion so that you can actually you know, drink it and get all the health benefits. The best, bottle, the, the best uh, glass of water is the one that you actually drink straight out of the machine because that is full of antioxidants and you just get all the benefits of it. Um, of course, if you're going to work for the day or going for a drive, taking off, um, you can put it, water into a closed dark container, preferably um, something that does not let in light, and uh, then you can uh, take it with you for the day. Um, if you leave for a couple of days to the cottage for the weekend, put it in a slightly larger container, you'll certainly uh, be drinking better water for the couple of days that you're away, even if the antioxidants have reduced, you've still got some benefits. So I hope this information was useful for you, and uh, please check out some of my other videos where I answer um, other questions uh, about alkaline ionized water. Thanks.